Dear fellow Stoics, do you believe it's possible to attain inner peace amidst today's relentless noise? Picture navigating life's highs and lows with the serenity of a tranquil lake, undisturbed by even the stormiest of weather. It may sound too good to be true, but not quite. In this video, we will delve into seven transformative exercises from Stoicism that can lead you toward that elusive, true inner peace. These aren't just abstract ideas or theories, they are practical actions you can incorporate into your daily life. If you seek peace amid the chaos, stay with me. As usual, if you're new here and embarking on a quest for more Stoic wisdom, hit that notification bell and subscribe. Do it for yourself as a commitment to explore wisdom, gain insight and find peace. Now fellow Stoics, shall we begin? Exercise 1. Journal regularly. There's magic in the written word, a kind of alchemy that transforms raw emotions into gold on paper. Have you ever experienced a whirlwind of emotions, a cacophony of thoughts that, when feelings become a tempest and seem too jumbled to understand, writing them down is akin to opening a window in a stuffy room. It lets in fresh air and clarity. Journaling transcends mere chronicles of the day's events. It is an introspective journey, a quiet conversation with oneself. In a world where thoughts are drowned in endless streams of information and emotions are fleeting reactions, taking a pause to journal becomes a powerful grounding exercise. It's like holding up a mirror to our soul, making sense of our feelings and reinforcing our beliefs. Whether you're typing on a modern tablet or scribbling in a worn-out notebook, the act of pouring your essence onto a page offers a unique kind of tranquility. So, in the midst of today's hustle and bustle, take a moment to reflect and let the pen guide you to that serene space within. As the sun sets, consider dedicating a few quiet moments to embrace this ancient stoic practice. Whether it's the pen on paper or the gentle tapping of keys, it can become a quiet symphony of inner calm. Engage in philosophical meditation. Envision a mental space, a special corner where you can retreat and ponder life's mysteries. Not just the vast cosmic quest questions, but also the everyday curiosities. Why did that comment from a co-worker linger in your thoughts? Why does the sight of a setting sun bring warmth to your heart? Philosophical meditation transcends the image of sitting cross-legged, focusing on your breath. It's a deeper dive, an exploration into the vast oceans of thought and emotion that define the human experience. A wise man once said, a wise individual once said, that to meditate is to walk through the garden of one's mind every day. As you navigate life's twists and turns, take a moment to wander through this garden. Observe the thoughts that bloom, the emotions that flutter like butterflies, and the beliefs rooted deep in the soil of your being. Philosophical meditation doesn't demand answers. Instead, it cherishes the questions, the wonder, the infinite potential of human contemplation, your contemplation. In the midst of the modern world's buzz and beeps, demanding your attention at every turn, gift yourself these moments of introspection. It's a voyage into the self, a stoic exercise that enriches the soul and calms the spirit. Remember, amidst the cacophony of existence, the soft, gentle notes of your inner symphony play on. All you need to do is listen. Now, on to the third exercise, Use the elevated perspective technique. Whenever you climb to the top of a hill or stand on a balcony high above the city, everything seems small, trivial. From up there, people look like ants, cars like tiny toys, and colossal buildings resemble Lego structures. This perspective, this view from above, possesses an uncanny ability to make our biggest problems seem minuscule reminding us of our place in the vast expanse of the universe. When we find ourselves tangled in the thicket of life's 
Seneca elegantly expressed the idea that we are but waves in the vast ocean of existence. Consider this. Waves rise, they crash, and then they merge back into the ocean only for new waves to form. Our challenges, anxieties, and even joys are much like these waves, temporary and fleeting. By embracing the view from above, we realize the transient nature of our problems. Yes, the latest app might have crashed, that text might have gone unanswered, or that dream job might seem just out of reach. But when you zoom out and look at the grand picture, you'll find these concerns dwarfed by the majesty of existence. So, the next time you feel overwhelmed, close your eyes, take a moment to elevate your perspective and envision yourself as a wave in the vast ocean of life. Let the temporary nature of your concerns become clear and embrace the tranquility that comes with understanding the grandeur of existence. Take a deep breath and imagine the world from high above. It's not about dismissing our feelings or problems, but rather finding solace in understanding their place in the grand scheme of things. For examine yourself daily, as every day is a fresh canvas and untouched landscape waiting for the painter's brush. The morning sun paints the sky with hues of potential, and with it rises an opportunity. It's an opportunity to ask ourselves, what kind of artist will I be today? Not just in terms of creativity, but in how we shape our reactions, decisions and interactions. Remember, life doesn't simply happen to us. It's a canvas where our thoughts and deeds leave indelible marks. Now, imagine if at the close of every day before sleep blankets our weary minds, we took a moment to reflect on this masterpiece we're creating. What strokes did I paint well? Which colors seemed out of place? Where did I allow the brush to slip? Marcus Aurelius once whispered into the echoes of time, Our life is what our thoughts make it. Let this thought gently nudge you towards daily introspection, our generation constantly. Connected to devices, our generation drowns in endless streams of notifications and updates. Yet, the most important updati is the one you can give yourself, a daily self-check. The Stoics believed in monitoring their internal compass. It's not about berating yourself for perceived faults or basking in the glow of praise. It's a sincere check-in. What did I learn? How can I improve tomorrow? Which brush will I choose? As you navigate the restless streets, crowded coffee shops and virtual meetups of today's world, carry this stoic exercise with you. When you end your day with a heart full of lessons and a mind ripe with reflection, inner peace becomes less of a distant dream and more of a close companion. I'd like to pause and express my gratitude for your dedication to exploring inner peace alongside our stoic community. However, I have a small challenge for you, as is tradition. Be resilient and stay with me until the end. Reflect, then respond. It's a transformative technique, a bridge between the outer chaos and inner peace. As today's world pulls you in a million directions, challenge yourself to harness the magic of this momentary pause. Remember, true strength isn't in quick reactions, but in thoughtful responses. Embracing this stoic exercise is like finding an oasis in a desert, a serene spot in the midst of life's busy bazaar. Now, on to the sixth exercise, represent events objectively. Imagine that you're handed a blank canvas and a palette filled with colors. How you interpret and paint the scene in front of you is entirely up to you. Similarly, every event in our lives can be viewed as this blank canvas. The colors we choose to paint it with, the emotions and judgments we attach, define our experience. But what if we could see things simply as they are, without the tint of personal bias? What if we could represent every event in our life objectively, free from the shades of our philosopher, often overlooked Epicurus, once said, 
It is not things that disturb us, but our interpretation of their significance. This profound insight highlights the power we hold. When a friend doesn't reply instantly to our message, instead of painting the scene with anxiety or doubt, we can choose to see it objectively. A message left unanswered for now, nothing more, nothing less. In practicing objective representation, we relieve ourselves of unnecessary anxiety and emotional turmoil. It's like watching a movie without getting entangled in the drama. Today, as we are bombarded with a whirlwind of information and encounters, imagine the peace we can find by just seeing things as they are, without adding our own dramatic storyline. Next time something bothers you or seems out of place, Pause and strip the situation down to its core, its pure, unbiased essence. This stoic exercise invites us to confront reality without the distortions of past experiences and fears. The seventh stoic exercise is to distinguish between controllable and uncontrollable events. Traffic jams, delayed flights, rain on a picnic day, life often presents us with scenarios we hadn't planned for. Frustration bubbles up when things don't go our way, and sometimes it feels like life's playing a game where the dice are loaded against us. The liberating truth, however, is that we cannot control everything. Trying to control the uncontrollable is like trying to catch the wind in a net. Not only impossible, but it will leave you exhausted and empty-handed. Instead, imagine the freedom in distinguishing between what is in our control and what is not. Epicurus gracefully reminds us, seek not for events to happen as you wish, but rather wish for events to happen as they do, and your life will go smoothly. This doesn't mean abandoning ambition or not caring about outcomes. It means shifting our focus towards effort, attitude, and resilience. Things truly within our grasp. The internet connection might drop during your online presentation, but how you handle it, that's all you. The barista might get your coffee order wrong, but your response, that's in your power. Embrace this dichotomy of control and watch as life storms become less about getting wet and more about learning to dance in the rain. As we scroll through our feeds, face everyday challenges or deal with unexpected twists, Keeping this stoic lesson close to heart can be the anchor that keeps us steady amidst life's unpredictable waves. If these stoic exercises resonated with you, or perhaps lit a fire within you, then show a little love, subscribe, tap that notification bell, share with a friend, and let's turn that thumbs up blue. Your engagement fuels this community and encourages the sharing of more transformative insights. Let's keep the conversation going. Drop a comment below. If you're at a loss for words, simply write, I will find inner peace. Each voice, each reflection adds depth and value to our thriving community, a beacon for those craving peace amidst life's whirlwinds. Oh, before you dash off, until next time, keep those philosophical fires burning, and as always, Strive for that inner peace. Select one of the videos that will appear on your screen now to watch more Stoic Wisdom videos.